everybody and welcome to a new video. To be honest, I'm not sure it's gonna be a new Alcan quest or this event quest activate yet. Maybe an hour later and I just picked the wrong time. But something funny came out. These two new males, Amperi, Ito, and Parma sell the same birthday. And consider today, yeah, I can kind of see it. The two childish character. Well, this was something. Oops. So yeah, last time, if I can remember, we got stuck here, although we can kind of teleport out doing our daily uh, stuff like that. And I got to do some pictures with Cookie, Head Satin Ito, Yanan, and Yanan Fair a little. So let's see what's the next thing in the agenda. I'm surprised you, th this doesn't take us up because that was kind of, I don't know if broken or something like that to actually see what's above us. I just waiting that moment when you're gonna the digivolve into your mature form or something. Oh, all right, fly free then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. What's stopping her to fly around this place? I mean, it's not like a suffocating place. It's kind of empty to say, spacey to say, to actually fly around if you are actually that boy. To be honest, I don't see Payam actually be like the type of person that likes to fly around everywhere. Like a jet player or something like that. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. Yo, yo, thought I heard you chatting over here. Oh, hey, Bullchucker. Well, everyone. I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Here, have some water and take a rest. Thank you, Shinobu. <sighs> it's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Ugh, out! I want out! All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, I remember here. your image to consider. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day, I... If only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. I'll bike again, everyone. There was annoying childish in the body of uh, someone that beat the final boss in a gangster game. Actually, I want to see Ito model in one of those Yakuza games. That'd be sick. And I don't think he'd be out of place, actually. Ramen? Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, traveler, are you hungry? You're asking me. I literally have a pocket dimension where I have all kinds of stuff. I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way. Who is the biggest eater among us? It's definitely not me. Ito. Oh, bye, man. Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, it's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. Huh? What are you looking at Paimon for? Paimon, are you hungry? Um, no. Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? Well, 
this is in he, I lose because last time we tried to call out Xiao, although we didn't actually call him out again, Bill. So, yeah, and yet you cannot let at least when it's very important to voice out the traveler. But I'm gonna slide that, but yeah, we kind of the we already know that this is kind of an illusion, like we see in the domain, not in the real domain, real realm. Huh, if that's the case. Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here? Yes, I heard that too, as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry, even after 20 days? That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time, but how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days. But I haven't really felt hungry since. Okay, that I can take, but again, how do you know a day have passed? Because we are underground. And yeah, perception of time can differ, but again, if you kind of keep count, maybe in a way, I think, don't we, one of us has like a clock or something? Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Uh, the more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. But he is an Adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown area. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Yay! You found something! Oh, please, please be the exit! I still suspect things can't be that simple. We should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Whoa! So there really is a path behind here! Gotta hand it to ya. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Miss Yelon's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. Right behind ya! Paimon can't wait to get out of this place! I guess this is animal, electro, water or ice, I cannot tell until I ask it, and geo. Hmm. Consider that he asks us a geo, let's go this way. Whoa. Oh, see, is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? It sounded so we're creepy. Huh. Some of the 
fine. I will have order. Let's light it up. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Teamwork is dreamwork. Surrender and be gentle. Spirit Blade! Attack! A touch of fun! Okay. You know, I... Although I see I can go in the other place, I... What? Wait, do I, can I go? Okay, let's go around. Taking place here? I wonder who could be involved. Why would you become like this? I won't attack you! That sounds like Shu! Could he be in trouble? Whoa, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we gonna find him? I'm going in! Let's 
spark thing. Order guide you. Force my blade. Spirit blade. Attack. Come a little closer. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Okay, the spiders. Do I think this is supposed to kind of look like Xiao's look? Maybe I can. Yeah. Clint? Let's light it up! A touch of frost! Teamwork is dream work! <laughs> You've been a naughty boy. <sighs> I will have order! Solidify! <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Blitz! One with my play. Get out of here. to another platform. Let's go and take a look. <sighs> the ground has dissolved? What's down there? Is that little dude called Xiao down there? We gotta help him. Hold on. Something's not right here. Dude, if you keep telling Xiao this later, I bet that there are going to be a ton of comics when Xiao just wants to kill you. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> Conqueror of demons? Xiao, is that you? Uh... Oh, and quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of Demons, can you hear us? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? He isn't responding. What's going on here? You. Oh, he finally said something! Oh! We followed your voice and found you here. 
here, but it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> an illusion? Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! If he can, we should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where'd he go? It sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Huh. He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way! Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry! I'm invincible! Ah! Oh, my butt! I want to enjoy this moment. Every moment he gets kick, it's music to my ears. <sighs> Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. And we go to the next phase. So, whoa. Okay, don't do this to me. Um, okay, why um? Let me. Phew. Okay. They forced me into the tavern. You know, I should actually have to build him one day in case of I. cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. Don't laugh. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Wait a second. Shao's not here, but... Oh, I saw this thing, and I remember what happened once when I tried to open this. One of those things just came out at me. Seems a little out of place. Here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow! Checker, looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us. Yeah, so you can wipe that smug smile off your face. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Once this door's open, we are out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 